We left Pahan 30 minutes ago and in a few kilometers you arrive in this kind of landscape. It is stunning. We left the main road and we end up on a dirty and bumpy road and soon we're going to reach the first cave. So we just made it to the Sadan cave and it's pretty cool because there is more local people than tourists here. And just behind us there is the entry to the cave and we are so excited because it's the famous cave to do in Pan. So our first impression of this cave. I mean, it's pretty cool. We just entered this cave and we just get amazed by it. Uh -huh. It's higher and it's larger than what we expect. The Buddhas are absolutely everywhere and there's also a few pagodas inside and we can't wait to see more. The cave is really not finished yet. Like you can go so far from there. There is a lot of people. It's pretty slidey. It's muddy. But it's still pretty cool. This cave is really huge! I hope you can hear all those bats! There's at least thousands of them just over us and I'm scared I'm going to get poop. Oh my god! After 20 minutes of walk inside of this huge cave, we almost made it to the exit. And I think that here is the highlight of the cave because from the exit you can take a boat to the entrance. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be looking really beautiful. Yeah, if it's not too crowded. Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> the boat driver are waiting for us. And I think the price is, is 1000 shot per person but I'm sure the price has changed since few years probably so I expect he's going to ask 3000 at least <coughs> hello how much is it sir 2000 papa sir ah it's not 1000 anymore hmm? ah, okay it's the old price <laughs> few years ago it was 1000 ah uh, before before here, so basically the price is 2,000 per person but if you want to have the boat for yourself it's 8,000 because you have to pay for the boat so we are showing with some locals who don't pay extra it's not a big deal okay. hello <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get under this huge rock can you believe it It was really short, but it was really beautiful. And we are on the other side of the another cave. Okay. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's so quiet. No time to lose. Let's turn home the engine.
are currently in the Kafka Town cave and it's really crowded. Yeah, but I think it's because it's the full moon and every full moon in Myanmar there is a famous festival. So I guess it's for that because there is really a lot of people and it's like the last one, only local people, no foreigners at all. Let's see if this cave is big as the last one. Oh okay, so no, it's definitely shorter because it's already the end of it. Yeah, right in the end. And it's getting full. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How many people can get in this cave? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> we can have a party now. Oh, oh, yeah. How you Can we go, please? <laughs> There is at least 300 statues at the entrance of this temple and that's pretty cool. Let's be honest, this one was less interesting and really smaller than the previous one. So let's move to another cave which is approximately 30 minutes far away from here. Yeah, but first let's say hello to them. Hello! hello. The entrance fee of this one is more expensive than the first one. 3,000 kyat per person. We just made our third cave of the day, which is the Kangun Cave. And if we have to give you our first impression, it's from so far the best one. But we didn't get inside yet. I mean, look at all the details on the rocks. I have never seen anything like that in my life. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing and impressive. So again, the cave is pretty small. But just for the carving, I think you should come here. Look at that. This one is pretty cool too. There is this huge pagoda right in the middle of it. It's pretty high, but we don't know if we can go deeper inside of it. We just made it to the other side of the cave. And the view from here is absolutely incredible. Yeah, let me show you that. Okay, my friend, <laughs> this one was the Ya Tia Pan cave, so we were a bit late. Yeah. What did you think about it, Christina? Honestly, I feel it's got a really small cave, but it was impressive inside because mm -hmm. you walk for like 20 minutes and after you end up in like open space. And you have an amazing view oh, from amazing. this side and also the other side. Oh, yeah. So it's totally worth it to come here. Yeah, and now we are heading to the last cave. Mm -hmm. And you will find out later why is the last one on the sunset. Okay? Yeah, it's kind of a little surprise. So this is the last cave of the day, the bad cave. And if you come here, you have to keep this one for the sunset because apparently there is hundreds of thousands of bats going out of it. 
and now we are looking for the best viewpoint you can see them. So we are going a bit higher. Yeah. Look how steep are those stairs. We are getting higher and higher. And the view is going to be amazing there. We just made it to the viewpoint. First, the views are absolutely amazing. Second, the bus in a few minutes is going to fly out from the cave. <laughs> 